Hi everybody, it's Manda, and this is the start of June 22, June 2022's 30 Inks 30 Days. I'm very excited, I'm very, very excited. As always in June, I do what's called Pen Friend Appreciation Month, where I spend all month using inks and sometimes pens, like we're going to use today. Um, um, and I like to use the things that you sent me and I make June the month that I like I always use the stuff that um, you all send me but I make a point of it during June to only use things that you send me aside from pens because that's that's not hi Pearl um, but I only use inks that y'all send me or have sent me and um, yeah so we've got a lot of inks here today I've got 25 inks in this uh, shell box and then I have five that obviously wouldn't fit in there. I tried to see if I could fit them to just like lay in here, but they wouldn't fit. There's not enough, there's not enough room. Some of these vials are a little tall, so no big deal. Um, we're going to start, we're actually going to like start and end with this, um, with this little baggie. Um, I have, uh, so what we're going to do this month is we're going to do, um, I'm going to try to edit out coughs and throat clearing and sniffles if I can. Um, I'm still dealing with like the end of whatever this is but um yeah so like in april we did this whole monthly spread and we're gonna do that again in june but we're gonna do like a rainbow for the whole month and i thought about doing like a rainbow a week or whatever um but i wasn't sure I wasn't sure how that would work out. I really wanted to do where it like kind of fades into a rainbow through the whole month. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, three days of neutrally color. So like blacks, grays, browns, things that don't fall in line with the standard Roy G. Biv of a rainbow. And then we're going to end with three days of neutral colors or colors that don't um, that don't fall within the standard Roy G. Biv. So we're going to have a big old rainbow for the month. June is Pride Month. I just, I thought it'd be cool. People in chat seem to like the idea of a rainbow and I have enough inks from all of you that I was able to make a rainbow work. So, um, yeah, I've picked these out a couple weeks ago. There's still a few that I want to switch around. So I don't know that I've landed on the final tally, but if I don't get the inks, like I have like a lot of blues, so I want to get rid of a couple of blues and maybe I know that I have some yellow inks that I haven't found yet. So um, I want to switch out a couple of the blues for maybe some of those yellows. Um, but yeah, but pretty much whatever's in this box is what we're going to use. Unlike last month. <laughs> um, yeah. So again, I apologize for my absence in case you didn't see the last video. I've been um, sick. I had had COVID the last two weeks. I just tested negative yesterday well yesterday was the first day I tested since like my last test a week excuse me a week ago but I am finally negative I just have this lingering like congestive congestion thing going on so um it's actually not that bad I feel wonderful um I just sound awful um but because like I said we're going to be starting with some neutral colors they may not be the most exciting of colors but I'm gonna enjoy them. Um, the pen that I'm going to be using is the Wingsung 3003. This is one of my favorite pens actually. Um, I know that I show off a lot of um, expensive pens or whatever but this is literally one of my favorite pens. I would grab this if the building were on fire. It, it's a friend from one of my dearest friends um, who you may know, Creepy Nibs. Um, they're not making videos at the moment, and I don't know if they will again, but they're not making them at the moment. And um, yeah, we did uh, an exchange a couple years ago, and this was something they sent me. It was my first pen gift, and um, yeah, it holds a very, very, very special place in my heart. It has an extra fine nib on it, but I have like, I have pushed it and pushed it and pushed it and I don't think it really writes like a true extra fine um but it's one of my favorite journaling pens because I write in a Nanami B6 for my journal usually I haven't been journaling much but when I do journal I journal it so it has a tiny grid like this and um yeah it's really it's a really great pen um they're not very expensive and you can get like a gajillion of them for a few dollars <laughs> and pearl hold on I have to rescue the cat Never mind, she's fine. I thought she was running around with a bag around her head and I was like, oh no. So anyway, 
The ink that we're going to be using today is Birmingham Pen Company Coking Coal. It has a longer name than that. Um, Edgar T. Steelworks Coking Coal. I think this is the newer formula, but I honestly am not sure. But it's this beautiful black color. And I think it will look really nice in this pen. I tend to only use like blacks. Not only black inks in this pen, but a lot of times I tried a blue once and it didn't work. <laughs> so this pen is cursed against blue. So we're going to try it with a black. I'm actually going to syringe fill this one because sometimes it doesn't. I've gotten a new converter for it, but sometimes it doesn't um, fill. And I need this for spots anyway. So I'm just syringe filling it. A little bit of a bubble, but that's okay. Save that syringe for later. This sample is from uh, pen friend Casey, also known as Tattooed Cat. Um, she's often in the comments here, so you've probably seen her. And then I'm just gonna prime the feed. Give it some love. It's really cool to see with this feed because you can see you can see it doing its thing. Okay. So we will do all of our other shenanigans. And um, we have to do we have our uh, nemosine. Um, 185. This is a blank sketchbook. Um, I don't know if they're actually making these still. I know that Jet Pens had them on a closeout, so I bought a bunch of them, and I'm good for like two years worth of, two or three years worth of, um, of these inks. Um, and yeah, but this this um, became a staple in my 30 inks because Creepy Nims also gave me one of these notebooks, and I just love how it showcases. You know a little swatch and a little writing sample and it's just it's I like having these as a record of my 30 inks and yeah I just think it's great it's a staple in my 30 inks and yeah I just love it so we've got this we've got this we've got our calendar page I actually think I'm gonna write a color in the calendar page we'll color in this page well, not May June color in June and then we'll go ahead to our splats and hopefully this will be dry so we could do this page. So that's how we're going to do it today. Um, I do have a lot of inks that are Birmingham pen inks because a lot of my pen friend inks are from Casey and she is pretty much my supplier of, of Birmingham pens. <laughs> Here we go. We've gone outside the line. So BPC. Coal. Coal. I said it spelled it wrong, of course. I don't know, I might speed this coloring part up. Maybe not, we'll see. I try to keep these videos kind of short because I know that, you know, I post a lot of these in a month and you have things to do with your day, but also recognizing that a lot of people like to spend time in the morning with their coffee in these videos or wind down for the evening with one of these videos, so. Don't want them to be too quick, but also I don't want them to take forever. I don't want to have 30 minute videos every day, basically is what I'm trying to say. So they usually start a little longer and then get a little faster as I get the process going again. But yeah, how have you all been doing? Um, if you are in the States this weekend, this Monday was, or this last weekend was a long weekend for Memorial Day. I think our friends in the UK have a long weekend coming up this weekend, if I remember correctly, um, for the Queen's Jubilee. Ours was Memorial Day. So here's our ink. I 
love how this looks. I think I actually stole this idea from Casey as well. She did it in one of her months when she was doing 30 inks. And I think I stole it from her. What I do not have is a backing piece of paper so I can keep this desk pad somewhat clean. I actually cleaned it off not too long ago and had splatters <laughs> from previous 30 inks. Okay, we are back. We have our uh, background so we can splatter to our heart's desire and not ruin everything. So I really want to spend this month thanking all of you because I really couldn't do anything without all of you. Like, honestly, like, especially a whole month full of pen friend inks, 30 inks. And I could probably do multiple months <laughs> with all of the um, fun things that y'all have been very generous and kind enough to send me. Like, honestly, you're all amazing. Um, um, yeah, so, so this month is for all of you. Day one. Our ink. And the Birmingham. I think it's because it's not like super saturated because I didn't fill it like I normally do. We'll just prime the feed. We'll just leave it like that. See what happens. Cooking coal from a tattooed cat. And the pen is the wing. So 3003, it's an EF ish. And this is from from Creepy Nibs, where I spelled it very terribly. Let's go ahead and spotty spot, 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 spot. Let's zoom in a little bit for the spot. I feel like I need to, um, like, grease the piston on this one, and it's kind of stuck. Kind of looks like a little snail or something. Can I give it some wings so it looks like a little butterfly, maybe? No? Maybe? I don't know. It's very pretty. It looks like there's some purple in the background there. I did get a little ink. On here. Definitely an interesting sort of black ink. So let this dry. It does have some good shading in this like in the 2022 or in the word ink. Even when I prime the feet again, you still it's dark, but you still see some variation in the shade. Looks like we're dry enough to continue, so let's go. This was our ink flight last month. We'll be getting that again very soon. So I also have an automatic pen. This is the size 3A. Um, I ordered mine from John Neal Booksellers. I get questions about this, so I'll try to link it. Mine is, I left it in water, so my nib is kind of not looking so great. I have another one that looks cleaner, but this was the one that I grabbed, so. Um, it doesn't affect anything. It still works just fine. It just doesn't look the greatest. Um, but yeah, I ordered mine from John Neal Booksellers. It was like 13 or $14, I think. Um, there's another shop that sells them. I'll try to link that. I'll try to link those two places. These are in the States. Um, there are some, I think some stores, some craft stores over, I want to say Jackson, is it Jackson Art Supply? They might sell them. Um, some places in the UK, because they are after all made in England. I know people have seen them on Etsy, but they're about $25 and I think that's, 
I think you add shipping on top of that, so that seems like a ripoff to me. But if it is free shipping, then it ends up being pretty close. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Anyway, I like using this for the swatches because it lays down enough ink that you see it, but it's it's not it's easier to clean than a paintbrush, so I don't have to um, worry about cleaning out a brush every time because I just swish this in some water and dry it off and it's fine. Unless you do like I did one time and leave it in the water and then it looks like this. So don't leave it in the water. A little bit of a drier ink perhaps or I just didn't have enough in the reservoir. I have not um, cleaned off the pen we got in the ink flight. That may be also a great choice. So our ink, here's Birmingham Pen Company, Coking Coal. I have no idea if this is currently available. I know that Birmingham recently released some new ink, so I don't know if this is sold out or still available. Our pen is the Wing Song. 3003. Mine has an extra fine nib on it, but like I said, I've like pushed it and pushed it and pushed it, and it, I feel like it does not write like an extra fine. So I write EF ish. And then we'll do an X swipey. So there is our ink, our ink swipey overall. A beautiful combo. Ink and pen from two of my favorite pen friends. Well, you're all my favorite pen friends, but from two of the ones I've definitely had the longest. Sweet, wonderful people. And if you don't know them, I feel sorry for you. I'm kidding. But hopefully you have awesome pen friends like I do. Because if I didn't have awesome pen friends like y'all, I would not be able to have a whole month devoted to using the stuff that you sent me. Again, this is not a plea to send me things. Please don't feel like you have to. You definitely don't. I have more than enough to play with for the whole month. For a few months, actually, probably. Um, but yes, like I said, I just want to share what I want to make a point of using what you sent me and share with you um, inks that you might not know about. So... So yeah, let's see if I can get this to sit still. I guess not. So yeah, so we have our first, our first day in the books. Literally. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Our first day literally in all of the books. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. I love doing 30 Inks Months. They're a lot of work, but they're so much fun and I love them. And I'm glad so many of you love them as well. So Thank you all for watching, whether you watch all at once or watch, you know, save them up and binge watch them or you've just found me. Thank you so much. Um, you're all wonderful people and I hope that you all have a great day, a wonderful June. And yeah, like I said, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.